I sort of had two first days uh, on Doctor Who. I had I had the day when I came and did the tiny, tiny bit at the end of Series mm. 1, which was done with a sort of skeleton crew. Very low-key, actually, thankfully, because it was scary enough. But luckily I managed to just slip in and do it. There was only about ten people there, which... Having seen somebody else's first day recently, where I think everybody in Wales turned out to have an ogle at him, I'm very, very relieved that I had an easier time. But then my first first day, the first day of filming on the Christmas Invasion, which was the scene at the end, doesn't do anything she looks tired, that scene, um, was terrifying, probably. Mm, scary. I remember getting home that night, and I felt like I'd been drinking e-numbers all day, because I was so charged up with that and my voice was going and everything had just been kind of oh, a little bit uh, but um, the great thing about a shooting schedule is that it has the, necess the necessity of just having to do it learn the lines and get on with it really yeah, it? Yes, so yes. very quickly it just the routine takes over um, well, my first day was at home watching Doctor Who episodes. Was it? Classic Doctor Who. What was the Who? first one you put in um, your VCR as it was back in those days? I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, was. I can't remember the first one, but the one that I really loved more than anything was City of Death. Really? That was the one Why did you love it so particularly? Because I thought it was so ambitious, because I thought that was the episode I saw that made me think the show could do anything. It was so funny, it was so bold, it was so mad with Leonardo da Vinci. It was technically Paris, you know, there was a couple of yeah. running, exterior running shots. Yeah. And I thought, oh, you could go abroad as well. And it was just so witty and bold. Seen that in years. Right, so that was my first day. And then the first shoot day, there was a space pig. And I remember thinking, <laughs> this is unlike any other job I've ever done, there was a space pig. Yeah. I suppose it's hard for me to think what my first day was because I just sit at home all day, really. So I suppose I think the first day for me really was when it had been mentioned to my age, Dr. Jane Tranter, Mr. 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 Doctor Who, and I just sort of ignored that. And it was when you phoned up and you said, Doctor Who, that's real. So I suppose I started with a feeling of horror, really, <laughs> that never goes away, just of like how wrong it could go. And mm. I think it's a very good way to work, just to yeah. think how wrong it could go and fight fear against and that. Fear. Yeah. So I yeah. remember that deep feeling of like, Oh my God, this could go so wrong, but I've got to do it. What yeah. about the moment when you sat down to start the first script, though? I don't even remember that. You don't. Funny. That doesn't no, feel like a, that didn't feel significant particularly. No, just a blur in my yeah. head. Not a blur. I remember every script very precisely, but there's no, there's no grand sort of. No. Click. It's just always there, really. I just started one day. I can't remember. Literally, when you say Doctor Who, and it's like, well, what Doctor Who? That was my first thought. I knew exactly what Doctor Who I wanted to make, which is this one. I wasn't committed to it, I was sort of thinking, if there's not enough money for this or not, I'm not going to do it. But then I'll have to watch someone else do it. So I probably will do it. Oh my god, it was all it was knotted like that. It's like life. But I think that, you know? see, I think when I got asked it for and I remember you saying this, you recognised the sensation. It wasn't entirely kind of brilliant, yes, let's no. go. No. It, it, that, that, that slight horror of thinking, I don't know that this is the best idea because this could all go wrong. This could, yes. you know, especially if it's something you love a lot. It yeah, shatter then, a lot of dreams. But it then could... very quickly you started talking about, I need to wear a long coat. <laughs> I did. And that kind of gives yourself seconds. away. Yes, but, but then a few days later I decided not to do it. I had mm. woken up thought, I'm not going to do this. And I spoke to my agent and said, I, I don't think it's the right thing to do. And, and then a few You're days crazy later. Fool. I know, but it's just because I for all I you see, it's like, yeah. well, what will it yeah. actually be? It's a lovely idea. But and also, I love it. Does that mean I want to make it? Yeah. You know, mm. it's, I don't, you know, that's not automatic, actually. Yeah. Um, although it is. <laughs> no, you then, you then discover well, because, this. Because but... the clincher is, you then think, I can I watch somebody else do this? Yes. And actually, that's the thing that makes you go, uh, nope, got to do it.